Well, it's becoming all too common in America. You're walking down the street, suddenly a violent criminal comes up from behind, tries to attack you with a deadly weapon. Would you know what to do? Hmm. Commander Dale Brown is a veteran airborne power trooper who has trained a number of A-list celebrities to be their own bodyguards. Now he is dedicating his career to teaching people how they can disarm bloodthirsty attackers in one of America's most dangerous cities. That's Detroit. The commander joins us now. He is a private sector professional here to share a few of uh, his moves, I'm going to say. <laughs> uh, great to have you here with us, Commander. Why did you think it was important to create your own program? The idea also that you're allowing celebrity, or you've trained celebrities also to uh, take care of themselves is, is very, very compelling. It seems like something that people should be able to do, most people. Yes, actually, uh, what we do is tra train regular people to defend themselves and become their own bodyguards. And so our goal is to make sure that we help people make intelligent options, uh, uh, no intelligent options, they can increase their survivability. And they're very simple and very practical and very effective. These are things we've been using to protect ourselves and communities for the past 28 years here in Detroit. Uh, Commander, uh, we do want to see uh, you show us maybe some advice on how to deal with somebody that's approaching us. We're all out there. We all feel vulnerable at different times. Give us something that we can use, sir, uh, in, in a situation in which we're being attacked. Well, when you're being attacked, the most important thing is to stay calm and do not resist unless you believe you have to in order to protect your life or lives of others. So if you can comply with a violent criminal and you can do what they say and, and not escalate the situation and not resist, and you believe that's your best interest, then you should do that. However, what we teach are intelligent options that increase your survivability. So if you decide to resist, if you decide to resist violent criminals, we're going to share with you things we know will actually help you survive. And they're very simple tips. So first and foremost, uh, if you're dealing with a firearm, this is common today. So with a firearm like this, this is a semi-automatic pistol. So that means it has a slide on top. And when the person pulls the trigger, there's going to be a movement of the slide on top, which is going to cause it to fire. So when they pull the trigger, this part moves. So we'll stop this from firing. What you can do, first of all, if the person's pointing a gun at you, you want to always agree with them. You want to move what's in front of the gun first and then control the barrel. As long as you control the barrel, you have leverage. If you push the slide to the rear, it can't fire. So that's something you may want to do when you're in close quarters, such as in a car or in a small space in your home. You encounter a violent criminal. You would push the slide to the rear, which takes out a battery. Anytime you hold the front of the weapon, the barrel, you can redirect it because you'll have control of the weapon. And another way to stop from firing, which is very important, especially when you're in close quarters, is to block the hammer. If it has a hammer in the back, you can block it down or forward. You can also put your finger by the trigger if you if you have room back there. But these are three ways to stop a gun like this from firing. You put the slide the rear, block the hammer, or trap the trigger. Get the trigger finger blocked out of the trigger well as well. So these are things that can help you uh, protect your life that are very easy, very practical. The most important thing to do if you ever have to resist a firearm is to move it in front of the barrel first and foremost. And that's what will increase your survivability. Yeah. So remember, if somebody does happen, if you do get shot or you do get stabbed, the most important thing is to focus on getting yourself to safety. And that means never giving up. We, we're, we're short of time for obvious reasons. We've got like 15 seconds. Somebody comes up from behind. Uh, what's mm -hmm. the Can best I... way to deal with that? Just uh, like I said, we're short on time, sir, but it's fairly important yeah. here. So if someone uh, grabs you from behind, what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand and you're going to hit them between the legs, grab, pull down. Another option you have is take your elbow and smash right in the midsection. Uh, this will help you survive and get yourself free so you can protect yourself and your family. Commander Dale Brown, thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you, sir. Thanks for having me.